Hello everyone, this is Ari from Iris Communication. In this video, I'm gonna install TP-Link 300 Mbps Advanced Wireless and Access Point or Repeater. As you see, the model number TLWA901ND. Okay, in my previous video, I review and unbox this one and in this video, I'm gonna set up. Ready, connect the antennas. We have to connect LAN cable. Here, should go as this inside and another part will go in the desktop PC in this PC I will connect this one after connecting I will be back okay here we are I already connect with the PC as you see this is LAN cable Ethernal it went to Ethernal port of my desktop PC this one and the power cable is connected now here is a power button I have to click on and as you see the light are starting blinking leave this as this now we have to go to our desktop pc in windows 8 windows 7 is not a problem it will be the same in my desktop pc i am already connected with the internet so what i have to do i have to disconnect it with the internet i click disconnect after disconnecting the PC is connected with the repeater or access point. Now, as you see, when it's appeared as this, that means your router is connected already. What you have to do, you have to click on this right button of the mouse and you have to click open network and sharing center. At Windows 7 and Windows 8, the process will be same. And here we are. You have to click change adapter setting access point is connected with the ethernal port you have to click right button of the mouse on this click at the property and as you see in the properties you will get this option you have to go down a bit and here as you see internet protocol version 4 tpc slash ip v4 you have to click on this and and click properties click the second option use the following IP address as you see this one and type here 192.168.1 and finally put 2 that is fine click the subnet mask don't do nothing here default gateway put 192.168.1 and finally 254 this is the IP of the access point or the repeater and click OK close this one refresh your computer now you have to open command POM in Windows 7 at the start button after that accessories there you will get command POM of the DOS in Windows 8 you have to go to all programs here I click this one click right button of the mouse I click again all apps and all apps here as you see the command form you have to click command form and in command form you have to type some code for check your access point is perfectly connected with your PC or not type first CD dot dot click enter CD dot dot enter that means now you are at C drive type PING space 192.168.1.254 the IP of your access point and click enter okay if you say request timeout then something is wrong I will check all the things and I will be back okay here we are in the cable I connect once again and now let's see I will open the command pump one more time for checking is fine or not now we will type again one more time cd dot dot cd dot dot 
now ping space 192.168.1.1 Two five four. After that, I will click enter. Now, as you see, receive four loss zero. Reply from one ninety two point one sixty eight point one point two five four bytes thirty two equal to thirty two time one ms millisecond TTL equal to sixty four is working perfectly. When you see this one, that means your TP link is ready for work. Don't do nothing here anymore. Close this one close everything go to your internet explorer click at the address bar type 192.168.1.254 and click enter after typing this as you see something is appear one username and password the default username and password for this access point is admin so type a d m i after that the password will be the same admin admin click enter here we are in the manual at the page of the setup of tp link access point the first option is status as you see the status of this repeater is or access point is all here the second option is qss don't do nothing here too click the third option network as you see the network here this option static IP if is this option is selected leave this one don't do nothing the IP address of the repeater the IP address of repeater is 192.168 1.254 you can change this IP address as you want in some day if you want subnet mask don't do nothing the most important thing is here is gateway normally you should the IP address of your router here for example the IP address of my router is 192.168.0.1 after that you have to click save here is modification of LAN setting will result in rebooting of AP access point click OK as you see I get error code 2001 bad gateway please input another one back I put another gateway with 3 at the last click save and I have same result this error code 2001 if your IP address of uh, of your router is with zero at the middle you will have this error I especially do this for showing so many people because so many people have problem with this if your IP address of your router is something as this don't worry about this just put 192.168.1.1 this is for everybody click save okay configuration completed successfully resetting is done and is back to the main menu now go again at the network check is fine everything is fine now click at wireless the fourth option here is the first option is access point if you want to use as an access point leave as this if you want to repeat your signal and as a, at the same time use as a bridge you want to make a repeater as a wireless parts you can use this one too the best is universal repeater mode if you're not in US this is the best for everybody click at universal repeater mode there is so many other option but the best is universal repeater click this one Put your country at the list. I'm living in Argentina. I click Argentina. Click OK. And here should be the MAC of the signal which you want to repeat. For searching that, here is one button. Click Survey. And it will search nearby all the Wi Fi signal available. Here, as you see, I have three Wi Fi signal available here. I want to repeat this fiber tail Wi Fi. I can make the list big as you see the connect option was hidden this signal click connect and now as you see the Mac of AP 90 B1 34 8 F C5 OB this is the Mac address of my wireless signal now click save okay configuration completed successfully resetting we have to wait now the second option is wireless security click this one and this is the important part 
where most of the people are struggling in this part. Here you have to put the password of your wireless signal, which wireless signal you want to repeat, or which type of password your router has. If it has web, you have to put the password here, the web. You have to select this one web and after that you have to put 152 or 64 and you have to put that password of the web. If your password system is WPA slash WPA2, you have to click this one and you have to put the password here at radius password here. Okay, you understand me? And if your password system is WPA, PSK, WPA2, PSK2, then you have to select this one and you have to put the password here. You understand me? This is so much important and you have to put the password of your router, the Wi-Fi signal which you want to repeat. So my password system is WPA, WPA2, I click this one and here I have to put only the password and don't do nothing here and there. My password is and I will hit save. It will give me one warning. I will click OK. And please click OK for reboot. I click OK for reboot. OK. OK, here we are. Few important thing I want to tell you. Here as you see receive signal and send signal some numbers if you see 00, zero here something is wrong something you not save and something you not you not put properly that's why it's come you can click one more time refresh and the receive and send you should see some numbers here if you see zero you have to do again one more thing when you click at the here you click save and after that you have to reboot every time when you save at wireless when you put universal mode and your country name and you put survey and your MAC address MAC IP or AP you have to click save and also reboot the same time one more thing as you see here I have yellow mark and if I try to connect with some page for example I'm open Google Chrome I can't use nothing now for check the repeater is working properly and the network icon the right button of the mouse open network and sharing center at the same place where we did some configuration click a change adapter setting click right button on ethernal network click at the properties after that protocol version 4 click properties obtain an IP address automatically click OK close refresh this page and check here below icon of warning should gone and you'll see this perfectly working icon of internet close this one close this one too now close everything now open google chrome or any other browser if you want okay here we are is working properly as you see the google is open i click one more thing i click one more button i click facebook for check one more time for show you properly And as you see, it's working properly and fine. This is all my friend. If you have any question, leave me as a comment. I will try to answer you as much fast as possible. If you like this video, please do subscribe. And as always, for more information, go to the IRS Communication, www.iriscommunication.com. Good night. Ciao.